Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to try to show you how to create a pattern like this. I'm going to call it geometric pattern. And the best way to do it is to take a line, holding down your control button, and then let's make it nine inches. And then we're going to do it kind of a different way. We're going to go to a range and open up the transformation docker and position. And we're going to move it one inch, and we want nine copies. I'm going to move that out of the way a little bit because we're going to do it again. I'm going to control G and then control D. And then I'm going to use the transformation rotation. And I made a square of squares. Whoop. And I want to move it down here by the other one. And the reason I, so we got one inch squares. It's going to make it a little bit easier at the end. I'm trying to zoom in. And now we are going to lock this. So we can't move it. Go down to lock and lock. Now we can't move this thing. Let's move our uh, artwork kind of up. Because I'm going to have to, I just created this. So I'm going to have to kind of, it's almost easy to fill them in, but then to, to do the shadowing. And we're going to get the smart fill tool. And we're going to fill in a maybe a gray about 30%. And we're going to go one, two, three, and then we'll start going down to the very bottom. And then move over and then come up to the very top. And then just keep whoop, keep doing that. This part's pretty easy because you're just uh, going. That's why we made nine, because it'll fit in here perfectly. And then in just a second, they're going to meet up. So you've got that done. Now what I would, well, sorry about that. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is unlock my box for a second. I've got my nudge distance set on one inch. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to unlock this for just a second. Well, maybe I can do it without. Maybe I can grab all this and weld it. Because I want all, I want seamless. I don't think I did it in this one. I can actually see some seams. Now we need to take another smart fill and just fill in one of these voids. And we're just going to move it out of the way for a second. And then we're going to get our transfer or interactive fill tool. And we're going to fill that in and kind of give a transformation. But we're going to change one of them to a little bit darker gray. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Because you want some uh, variation in this. You'd really like to end up with this kind of color. So let's go a little bit past there. Move this up. That looks pretty good. We can get rid of that square. And now this is why I use the nudge for one inch. Because our, our squares are one inch. As you can see. We're going to mirror that thing down. And the first one we're going to put right here. Whoop. And you've got to be pretty precise. Um, you know what? I wonder if I arrange and sort of lay, or view, snap to. We've got everything snapped to, but it's just it's, there's nothing there to snap to because we've welded it together. And for the video, that's good enough. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to just nudge it over that one. I'm going to control D again, and I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to control. If it ever happens, you can just go back and control D. Now we're going to nudge that one over there. Control D. And this time we're going to flip this thing. Because we want the bottom 
to make it look like it's darker. And for the video, I'm not going to take the time to get them dead on. You would want to if you were doing it for real. Control D and move it over here. Now we're going to control D and this time we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Let me zoom in here a little bit. We're going to grab that shape and we're going to put it right here. If I figure out how to make it snap to there, I might make a second video. Control D. Let's mirror it and then nudge that over. And it's easier to have an example. Um, I mean, you don't have to think about it. So we need one right here. And I'm going to zoom in. And also, if you had your uh, if you had your nudge distance set on something lower, Control D, flip it, and nudge it over to there. We're almost done. We need two more. I'm going to try this. So holding down the shift and Control D, and then I kill two birds with one stone. We need one more right there, so control D. And by George, I think we have it. We've got the dark shadows, I think, everywhere we need them. But then you can go and unlock this and take it away. I must have had two of them. Wow. I don't know how I had so many copies of it. I think I did that when I made it. But I don't know how I got locked so many times. Unlock all would probably be the best thing. Oh, you know what I did? I probably made nine copies somehow when I used the transformation. I swear I'm deleting it. You know, I kind of thought the lines looked thick. There we go. I made... I must have hit nine copies when I rotated it. Sorry about that. But there's two different examples. Uh, this one's a little cleaner because I, I, I failed not to weld the pieces together when I did it. And you could do a lot with this. I mean, this is um, something you could totally do and leave that out and make it black. And make a border. I might even make a second one on how to use that into another geometric shape. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.